We're in the heart of District 4, Colombo, and Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. I'm Evan, this is Noodlehead, and we're about to go in there and get some delicious bang sale and bang ho. Bang sale is the traditional street food of Vietnam, made from rice flour, water, and turmeric, fried crispy and stuffed with pork, shrimp, and vegetables. The name of the dish comes from the sizzling cake because of the sound when the batter hits the hot pan. A smaller, crispier, and altogether more snackable version. Bang coat is a miniature pancake flash fried in a cast iron pan, topped with a sprinkle of scallions, a single shrimp, and a lather of coconut. Bang Seo has many different variations depending on the regions. In the central, Bang Seo is small, about the size of a hand, and has less filling. They also have a darker, less yellow color because of the addition of fermented shrimp cake. In the west, Bang Seo is larger, about the size of a small or medium pizza. The filling includes mung bean, pork, shrimp, bean sprouts, and coke. In the west, Bang Seo is served with fresh vegetables such as lettuce, paria, mint, cucumber, and pickles, along with a sweet and sour nook chom. All right, y'all, so we are at Bang Seo here in District 4. We have wrapped up our first little attempt. It looks disastrous. It's fallen all over the place. But we've got the mang coke, coconut milk, shrimp, and pork floss in this crispy little Vietnamese pancake, dipping into the spicy nook cham. Oh yeah, wow. It is fiery hot with all that fresh chili. Really crunchy, but still gooey inside, like almost like a deep fried omelet or something. Get in there, man. Roll one up. It's, there's definitely some like tapioca flour or some kind of starch, like, yeah. Got a close up of it, so like, the batter is really chewy. It's interesting, it's not, it doesn't have like that like wheat flour, bready texture that you get on like a Western crepe or pancake. So there's definitely the tapioca or rice flour in there, but delicious as always. Another incredible hit from the Vietnamese street food. This is really like a snack food though, man. Like it feels like a, a you know, like a deep fried, crunchy kind of snack. Uh, it tastes good, right? Oh yeah, it's absolutely delicious. A little bit of refreshing chawed up. And then we're gonna have to get into this behemoth. So this is the actual bang sale. And it is humongous. Got some fresh bean sprouts in there. It looks like oyster mushrooms. There's also some sliced and maybe steamed pork belly, it looks like to me. Some shrimp, a ton of baby clams, and then uh, I would guess, is this daikon maybe or pear? I think it's daikon. But same thing, we're gonna rip right into this and then basically serve ourselves up little uh, salad wraps or like rice wraps, right? Okay. So this is bang tan. So this is like a rice, rice flour paper that's made to wrap on the outside. Do we have to moisten it up or do we still dry? No, no you uh, we, we just cut it off and put this and then roll it. Okay, you show me how it's done. Okay. Let's we'll start with getting a little bit of lettuce into this rice paper. Okay. Some of the herbs here. Looks like we have a little bit of a paria. This is the infamous fish mint. This looks like a Kaffir maybe, a lime leaf, something like that. So we've got that all set up there in our rice paper roll. And then how do we dig into this thing? You want chopsticks? Using the chopsticks. It actually looks kind of more manageable than... Oh, wait, this one is crunchy too. All right, so this looks, this actually looks kind of more manageable than the bang coat, even though it's a bigger roll. Nicely layered. You're gonna go thumbs in. Yeah. You're gonna push with the thumbs. Rice paper over. Yeah. 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 yeah, you are. Tight spring roll. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is like a, I got a nori hand roll. What do you think? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. All right, yeah. and then we dip her in. Got you. Cheers. Here it is. The first bite of the bang tail. Mm. 
four, huh? Yeah. It's beautiful. There's a lot going on in there. I don't think there's any Western comparison to this kind of food. Like, there's nothing similar. Like, it's, it's sort of like a fresh roll or a spring roll, but the rice paper has a bit of a dry, crunchy texture to it. Then you get all of that herb and wrap salad, giving it a bit of a, a leafy sort of almost organic taste. And then in the middle, there's this deep fried egg that is like way too delicious and crunchy and greasy to actually be an omelet. Mm. Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Like, it looks nice. There's a lot of texture, like a lot of like variety in the mouthfeel. Like the, the paper is waxy, the lettuce is kind of chewy, and then there's whole shrimps with the exoskeleton skin on in there, crunchy. Oh. You're right, the like most, the closest comparison to this is like, is a burrito. It's, it's closer to a burrito or like a taco or some sort of Mexican wrap than it would be to a spring roll. It's, yeah. it's way too meaty with too many textures. <laughs> The Big Bang Sale definitely eats like a meal, and these little bang quote just like a delicious snack. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous way to serve a meal. Like, looks-wise, it's absolutely beautiful. What's your favorite? Do you prefer the Bang Sale or the Bang Quote? Uh, I love both of them. You love both of them? Yeah, I love both of them. This is definitely, like, neater, you know? It's so self-enclosed, but... <laughs> Oh, it's so crunchy. We're gonna have to cut away to the traffic so they can just see how busy it is. It's like full rush hour, bonkers, Saigon, just raging literally a meter away from us. I'm so impressed with the Bangkok, how like, it's got a bit of thickness to it, like almost like a, like a crab cake or something, right? And it really tastes good. Well, I think the part of it that's the most special to me is the texture. That chewiness with the crunchiness is a real, it's just unique. Like the flavors are all there. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's hot, it's sour, it's salty. But that texture of having like a really chewy sort of melt in your mouth, like almost like that mochi rice flour thing happening with that deep fried crunch on the outside. And it's so crunchy, it's like a cracker. And I feel like I'm overstuffed. How are we gonna get this all in here? Push. Hard push. Don't be shy. This the interesting is this paper is tough, right? Like it's yeah. like it's waxy. It's not gonna break no matter how hard you push on it. Yeah. Unlike say like a tortilla or whatever, a glue it would just shred. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're we're going better second time around. Whoa. Beautiful. We got a little spring roll gift here. Thank you, sir. Come on. The gift from dumb. Oh man. Oh, this is good. The bang sale with the baby, baby clam, baby clam, the hen, right? Yeah. The baby clams, the hen, <laughs> give it that awesome flavor. The fat of the pork in there. The actual bang sale is, is more nuanced. There's a lot more going on. There's mushroom, there's radish, there's clam, there's shrimp, there's pork fat in there. There's crunchy, like, cracker-like egg crisp. Incredible amount of variety in a single bite of food. This has just been brought out by, I guess, the chef and owner. This is a beautiful, sticky, fresh roll. This looks a lot like what you would get in North America when you go into a Vietnamese restaurant. Classic. And the sauce, a nutty kind of peanut sauce, maybe, right? Yeah. Peanut sauce with tamarind. Let's get in a bite on this. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. A little bit of rice noodle vermicelli in there. Some steamed pork as well. In Vietnam, we saw that there's a lot of Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This rice paper has been like wet or soaked, so it's a much different texture. It has a chewy sort of texture and rips. It's not like the crunchy sort of indestructible feeling of that other bang chan. Sweet, sweet peanut dipping sauce. 